This is weird. Hey guys, is anyone on? I'm inviting some friends. I want to talk about a big subject that I see coming up more and more. Hey guys, oh, there's a few of you on. Hello, Ben. Hey, Lori. So I want to talk about spiritualists, which is people that sense, feel, speak to other spirits, people that see into work in other dimensions, empaths, and mental health. And I want to say that I'm not coming at this from a place of judgment because I have needed medicine a lot in my life. I used to not be able to function without Xanax. My anxiety was so bad. Um, I used to be on too much pain meds. I didn't know that at the time. That was back when I believed what the doctor said I needed. So I took what they said. Um, so I've been on a lot of meds. A lot of strong meds like fentanyl, morphine, different derivatives of morphine, and then anxiety, meds, depression, all that shit. I've been on all of it. And then I got myself off all of it. But there were still a few years where on and off I needed the Xanax. Hold on, I got a message. Um, so, I want to talk about this because if you're spiritually open, if you're a witch, if you're anyone that deals with other realms, dimensions, souls, not seen, doctors are not going to help this. They do I'm not going to say all of them because I have met a few people who have found therapists who are open to these subjects and they at least had someone they could talk to safely. And that's great. A lot of people need some type of therapy at times. That's why I do what I do. The quantum trance is a form of therapy. It's hypnotherapy. Um, however, medicine is just mask symptoms. And yes, at times we do need them. Sometimes you need them to even get to the point where you can deal with what the fuck's going on. This is why I don't judge the medicines, because I had to do it myself. But when you really get to the root of something and heal, start really healing, why? It's way below the surface. It's so far below the surface of what you're actually feeling. When you actually are getting to the root of things, you don't need the meds to mask the symptoms anymore. You start to learn when you do get anxiety, it's alerting you. And yes, it requires a life change. If you're going to do the shit like what I do, if you're a witch all the time, your life is going to be different. You're not going to fit in with 3D systems. That's why we get anxiety. That's why we feel like we're sick. Because um, we can't do everyday things the way other people do them because we feel more that's going on we see what they don't see that doesn't mean you have an illness they'll say they'll put bipolar on you they put that on every empath you're bipolar because we feel the energy's going crazy you don't need medicine for that ground center go inside that helps um there's so much they, you know, there's people, I'm not going to say there are no people that have, that don't have multiple personalities, because I know that does happen at a soul level when you experience a trauma that's so deep, it can fragment your soul and people will start creating multiple personalities because that's how they disassociated from the event that happened. That's how their mind dealt with it. However, there are a lot of people diagnosed with this that don't have multiple personalities. They're seeing and talking to spirits. 
but they don't even believe, sometimes they don't believe it themselves because everyone tells them, no, you're not, no, you're not, you're seeing things, you're imagining things, that's not real. It is real. And this, this is why I preach on this now. It's so important to find someone you resonate with that can help you in this type of work, especially now. Because the chaos has just started on this planet. This is just the beginning. People are waiting for coronavirus to end. It's not going to matter <laughs> because it's going to be something else. So this, We are in a war. We're in a war on consciousness. It's not just a dropping bomb government type war. We're in a war on your consciousness, on your soul. So you've got to learn how to deal with things at soul level, not just human 3D level. Because human 3D level is not getting to the root of anything. It's not helping you. I'm going to flat out say it. It's not helping you. It's not getting to the root. That's not me saying go throw all your meds in a trash can right now. No, because that can be dangerous too. You have to be smart about this. But at the same time, especially witches, they put all kinds of fucking labels on us. And some of us came into adulthood carrying so much shit from past lives we didn't even know it and then as you start going through your spiritual awakening and seeing things deeper the memories will come up as they need to or you get a reading or you do something like trance with me where the info comes up that you need to find out what the fuck's going on past lives do affect you until it's healed you know i had someone tell me they had a therapist tell them past lives don't matter You can't sit and focus on it all the time, no. But you have to heal what happened. Because it's going to keep repeating. You have to get to the root of what's really going on. And everything is energy. Everything is spiritual. There is nothing that's not spiritual. Nothing. It's all rooted in the spiritual. And more and more people are going to start seeing this. If, they're, if you're not already seeing it, it's going to happen. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys still on? Let me know. Do you have any topics you want me to talk about? Ben, can I tell your story that you messaged about what happened? This is a great example of how being like us and being out in the 3D matrix world can really affect you because um, he saw someone with a physical disability missing arms but he saw more than that he saw what happened to the person the war they were in and it started making him feel sick because he's seeing all this and that's what happens with us like your abilities start waking up it's not going to just happen when you're sitting in a room meditating like yeah these pictures are cool of people that do these pictures they're awesome pictures they put out great vibrations. I'm not saying to stop that. It's great. But that's not how it always happens. It's not always... It, for me, it was never convenient. It always happened at the worst fucking time. That's part of the test. <laughs> it's always going to happen at the worst time when you're dealing with like major 3D shit or you're at work. You're around people that don't get what's going on. And all of a sudden, you're hit with these visions and feelings and emotions and smells. And I was in a, a restaurant in Georgia one night. Um... I don't even remember with who. I was just out eating. And someone, it was really crowded at the door. People waiting to be sat at the tables. And I smelled death on someone for the first time. And I saw who it was. And the person was dying. And I mean, I'm sure, I am positive. I have no idea who they were. But I'm positive now they are not alive. Like, they were so close to death. And I smelled it. It made me so sick. And I was out trying to eat dinner. <laughs> so that's what I mean by it's very inconvenient. And sometimes it requires a life change if that's your path. I'm not saying that's everyone's path, but to get rid of the anxiety and what they call the mental disorders and to calm your own fucking mind, sometimes you have to make life changes that you didn't expect. But it's for the your better good. And it's way better than just taking fucking medicines to keep numbing the alerts you're getting because it's an alert. Anxiety is an alarm system. It's letting you know something is disrupting your energy. Especially if you're not sitting there thinking about the past or worrying about the future. If you wake up, like if you wake up out of bed with anxiety, that's letting you know. 
Now, if you are sitting there worry, being a worry wart, because I do this, I also do this, so this is how I know this shit, because I've been there and done that. I still do some of this. If you're, you know, sitting there fretting and worrying about a situation or how to handle something, or you're just worrying and you have anxiety, then that's coming from you. You, are, That's obvious. There's other times where it's not so obvious. You felt like what, Ben? It's just a C. Did you mean crap? <laughs> I'm not sure what you meant. Oh, crying. Yeah. Yeah. It's rough. I remember the first time I started seeing tree auras. <laughs> I was out with Jackie Cypress in, um, in Georgia. We were at Walmart near her house. And I got in Walmart and I started seeing them all, all the people. And it was like psychedelic colors everywhere. And I, I could barely stand. Like I was so dizzy. I was like, get me the fuck out of the store. I'm dizzy. <laughs> so yeah, it will hit at the most inopportune random times. That's when I started learning. Like, hey. I started, uh, there was the last year I was in Georgia. Especially after the jellyfish sting and how it messed up my system. But then I was still going through spiritual shit and I started ordering groceries. I was, my soul aligned me where I needed to be at the time. I was in an apartment in a city that had everything I could want within five to ten minutes down the street. And it had everything like DoorDash, Grubhub, the delivery grocery service, what's it called, Instacart. It had all that. I didn't know I, it was going to be like that when I moved in. But that's what I needed. I needed a place where I was safe. Where I didn't have to fucking leave the house if I didn't have to. And I could get what I needed. So I went with it. And that's what happened. And sometimes that's what we need. But it, it does change how you handle day-to-day -day life in the 3D matrix system. So don't let these people put freaking mental disorders on you for being who you are. If you're a witch, be a fucking witch. This is why... Quantum trance is so powerfully effective because it opens up all these blocks of energy and your highest consciousness starts flowing through and speaking and telling you, it's you telling you what you need to do, but it's so powerful and you can't argue yourself because it's not me sitting there being a therapist or a psychic or doing oracle cards. It's your own highest consciousness. Your freaking soul is telling you what you need to do what needs to change you can't you can't argue it but you're arguing with yourself but when you don't argue it and you know exactly what needs to be done you feel so much better it's so empowering julie yes absolutely i can't wait to meet you tomorrow julie who's on here is having um like a gathering at her house for people to do like Reiki on each other and it's a potluck and I forgot what else you said I'm just like I'm excited to come meet new people so <laughs> yay but yeah Julie I was talking about specifically in the beginning um, how they use the label bipolar every empath I know who has been sent the direction towards a therapist or a psychiatrist or a psychologist or even a regular doctor We'll throw that bipolar label on there. They want to give us medicine to drown out us just feeling the natural energies around us. Well, how do you know what's going on if you can't feel it? You don't, because I lived that way for years. Numbed on Xanax, and I thought I felt really good. You know, I thought I was in a really good mood. I thought, oh, this helps great. But I didn't know what the fuck was going on around me. I had no clue. It drowned out everything. Fire. Yes, Fire. <laughs> Witches love fire. <laughs> I don't know. I, let me pause. I don't know if she considers herself a witch. I do. But <laughs> see, yeah, they did that to me too. My like general practitioner in Georgia years ago put that label on my chart. So, but I also know that was part of the path I needed at the time that got me on disability because I, I wouldn't have made it if I had to have stayed in the 3D jobs and it was making me so sick where I was working and I had a good job I made good money by like 23 or 24 at the job I had I was making 50k a year and this was what over 15 years ago 50k a year now is pretty I still think it's pretty good that was then um 
I had no intentions of leaving that job. I had my eyes on going higher. I was going to go higher. And no. Myself yanked me out of that situation by opening up the floodgates and starting the fibromyalgia route and all that. It's, so all these disorders, they're not really disorders. A lot of time it's the route your own soul has to take to get your mental aspects in line with what you need to be doing but it's very confusing because these doctors will label you with so much shit and throw so much medicine at you and then if you just listen and take it all at the end of the day you're a zombie so this is where you've got to be able to connect with you and listen to your gut and listen to your instincts and hear your higher self that is more neutral and looks at the bigger picture you've got to be able to connect to that part of you so that you're not emotionally reacting to everything going on and losing your fucking shit and then getting sucked into the doctors wanting to do this and that because they're just doing what they're taught they don't know any better that's how they're taught to treat people now they don't heal they don't actually treat or get to the root of things they just know how to give medicine for symptoms and that's all they do Hey, Teresa. Oh, I got a text. Hold on. I was trying not to stop the screen. It's really hot out here today. It is hot. I may have to get in my little pool, lounge pool. We had to fix it. <laughs> it had a hole, and we tried to fix it, and it didn't work. So I just put, like, super glue all over the hole. You have a great day, Julie. So, that's the subject I wanted to talk about today. If you need help, you know how to find me. You can PM me. Um, you can go to coven88.com. I have a lot about quantum trance on there. It's, it has its own tab at the top of the website. And also, you can PM me if you have questions. Um, also, don't forget, I am now doing an affiliate program where if you refer people to me and they give your name, I pay you. Eight dollars per person so if you want to get help for paying for your own session and start referring people in and then you can make money towards your own session or you can just keep the cash whatever you want to do however you want to do it so that's my talk for today <laughs> I had flex seal Teresa um, but it was wet when we tried to use it so it didn't work well so I just dabbed super glue all over it that should work if not I guess I'll end up having to go get flex tape I hope this just works because it was like a tiny it wasn't even a tear I mean it was like a tiny dot so anybody else want to talk about anything while I'm here I'll give it a minute because I know there's a lag oh, I'm dropping my phone <laughs> I have this weird split screen going on. I thought it looked cool. My eyes are like activated. Hey guys. I see you. <laughs> I love seeing my eyes activated now. My eyes look so different. They used to be such a dark brown. And I was on all that medicine. And my eyes keep changing as my soul keeps integrating more of me and my own energy into this body. My eyes keep changing. It's really cool to watch yourself and see how things change. It's awesome. Alright, on that note, I'm going to go. You guys have a beautiful day. Love you.